Hey everybody, we're gonna be doing some Jaden matches in Arena today, and he's only at 110 in most of the matches here, and he's at the 115 level of like his skills. Like he's got his, uh, he doesn't have his final skill yet. So this is a Jaden in progress review. I'm gonna talk a little bit about what's not working and what is working, but I will say overall, I'm super pleased with him. He's looking very, very strong. Uh, I am also gonna be putting some chapters into this video, so you can jump to the end of the video if you wanna look at the team strategy stuff first and then otherwise feel free to ask questions down below uh, in the comments or hop on my discord the Missidia Gaming discord and talk to us in the War of the Visions channels more about my Jaden or your Jaden or no Jaden I don't know all right first match and we're up against Helena wall and cloud and you can see this Helena went first which is bad our Jaden's gonna get pulled in an attack and he's not even going to one-shot her. So Helena's a very fast unit. Don't line your Jaden up across from her because Jaden has a lot of range and that's gonna pull him right out of battle. So I recommend that you either don't match up or you have a faster Jaden so that you can get a team buff off. Cause again, he doesn't have his 60% magic boost and now he's gonna get hit with a Helena LB and that's probably going to kill him. So. Uh, Big misplay by me just even before the match started by picking this opponent uh, or just by positioning my my Jaden. Now we're also, we have cheer right now and you're gonna wanna turn this off and I'm giving you an example of why you're actually gonna wanna turn this off because while, you know, protect shell and, and other buffs might seem really good, it's actually going to tie up Fina quite a bit. She is a pure healer AI. She does not want to attack if she has literally anything else to do. So we have to make sure that she doesn't have that option. She's either going to full life, which is really great. She's going to superior healing, uh, which is, again, very, very strong. But she can't have any other team buffs, TMR abilities. Unless it's a one cast thing and it's gone, then you can work around with that. And then here's the superior healing. Look at this, a 6k heal. And not only that, that's gonna cure your status effect. So for example, if you have a unit that's disabled, that's actually going to cure the disable. Oh, big reflex from Cloud, um, which is a big shame because we want to get this Berserk off. That's gonna be a game changing moment for us. Even though Cloud auto attacking with Berserk might actually still kill our King Mont, hopefully Fina's gonna come in with another heal. But at this point, we don't really have a lot of hate anymore with our King Mont, uh, and that's gonna be a, a bit of a problem as you see Cloud is gonna run and kill Fina. Now we're really behind because we still haven't been able to take out this wall, and Jaden's low on AP. So luckily we, we got him, he's done. Uh, but Cloud is gonna re he's gonna reflex again, of course, naturally, right? And then Jaden's got zero hope of actually uh, surviving that hit. So again, this this match is an example of what not to do. We got the stun, okay, but it's not gonna matter. Cloud is going to actually double turn Mont because he didn't act or move. So you know his CT stayed high. He reflexes yet again. Uh, fantastic, just loving it. Uh, and we're just gonna time out here, I believe, because we can't kill we can't kill this Cloud. So he's stunned. Doesn't matter. There's two actions left. We are done. Another match, another example of what not to do. Now we should have a better lineup this time at least. So you can see Jaden, he's going to use his agility and his magic buff. And that's really important. Like we really, really want him to use that buff more than anything. And the fact that Wall, oh sorry, Wall, the fact that King Mont got some agility, that's not bad either. So it's definitely setting us up. Uh, our tank is running away from the rest of the team, but we're still wasting Fina's potential by casting cheer right now. And you're gonna see how again, uh, right Right now how her damage might come in handy and of course wall is you know strong against these uh, missile attacks but we're also gonna see um, how we just could use a little bit of extra damage regardless of our opponents resistances so walls doing a really good job of tanking Helena's coming in and doing some damage to us but at least Jaden's not dead this time right at least that's that's the case we're gonna get some massive healing too and he can move back Okay, so huge damage on Helena. We still haven't been able to one-shot a Helena yet. Uh, she does have her barrier on this time though. 
So King Mont going up for Fangs Leonis. And of course, he sits still because why would you move out of the way of, you know, uh, bringing your, your allies into an AoE, right? Like that makes, that makes perfect sense. Uh, magic Reflex from Jaden, love to see it. But our, uh, our, our Mont's not looking in, in dire shape here. Armor Crusher is going to crush him. Fina's going to waste another superior healing. Uh, and we just want to get this full life off at this point because we're still taking out this King Mont. Right? Like, if Fina had attacked right now, King Mont would be dead. Uh, Helena might be dead. But we are going to get the full life. And remember that our Fina, uh, she was able to use Helena's TMR. So we survive because she had Helena's TMR barrier on, and that's pretty crazy. So we've finally taken out the King Mon. He's down. He's gone. Uh, but Dwayne's coming up with Armor Crusher again. And, and again, Jaden's not going to survive this type of close range slash damage. You want him to be killing people before they get to you. And it's okay if he takes some missile damage from Cloud or Frederica, from other Jadens, from other Phoenix, from other missile units. That's all fine. Uh, but at the end of the day, he can't be getting hit with magic attacks and he can't be getting hit by slash attacks. So unfortunately, we're in another duel again, and your your tank just can't be the one that you're putting into these duels. So uh, <laughs> Dwayne doesn't care that he's been berserked. We're gonna time out again. There's five actions left. Everyone's uh, turning into crystals. This whole thing's a mess. Let's adjust our AI and get into another fight. At this point, we've turned off cheer with Fina. We have Re Regen, uh, Regen off with Fina. She's not going to be casting buffs on her teammates. She's going to use Helena's TMR and then she's going to be ready to roll. She can heal. She can use her Sparkle Shower, which is, you know, again, one of the best names in the game for an ability. But there's the shield. She doesn't move after the shield, which I actually really like as a ranged unit. That's actually going to be very useful considering that she's going to have super uh, nice range. So this is probably the optimal setup for this composition where we've got Fina moving up. Uh, she's ready to heal her full life, uh, but otherwise she's going to be attacking. Now there is one other variation that you can get here. And look at this. We're going to get the Helena LB, but it's just going to hit king mont nobody else that's the dream right there we have dark resist up from the map by the way and then there's our magi blast it's going to be that, that get that nice break on both units fang of leonis and it's a disable yeah okay so that's good it isn't look at this coming in with prey look at that that's no healing at all sparkle shower yeah, that's pretty good. So that's killing both dark units and Sparkle Shower. You're going to see it hit for some pretty crazy damage. In the new guild battle map, uh, I'm actually using the exact same composition, except I'm using Jaden's VC and the light attack up VC. And what happens is Jaden's hitting for cap uh, on his attacks and Fien is hitting for like 8k. And the reason is that there's also light attack up on that map, uh, but you can get some serious damage out of those two. Okay, this is the final match that I'm going to show you today. And you can see right here uh, that we've got a different approach aimed fire with Fina. Now, I thought this could be kind of cool. It's going to give him, uh, Drayden, and both Fina extra range. It's going to give them extra firepower with the, like, what is it, like 38 missile attack up. So all of that seems really good. But again, you don't really want to mess with Fina's AI too much. Depending on the map, it could stop her from actually attacking, which is what you really want. So we got a, a kill on a, on a Dwayne there. That doesn't surprise me. Dwayne's weak to missile uh, attacks. And now Jaden has range up and he has a missile attack buff. So that's really solid as well. Uh, and, and the cool thing about this uh, match as well as again that we have King Mont separating from the rest of the group and separating is really great because of our range but also the range of the superior healing if we have to heal with Fina that's not a problem so Fina might have been able to attack uh, the last turn but she's going to use her third TP skill in a row because that's what she does. She still gets there in time for a leg shot, but you have to be careful with the amount of buffs that you give uh, Fina. All right, I've changed things up a little bit to have that extra light attack up, uh, that missile attack up for both Fina and for Jaden. I've switched up the VCs. I'll put it on screen for you so you can all see what I'm talking about. And otherwise, we're running the exact same comp. Uh, and then that way, we can see if we get a bit more damage on Helena because she's going to move up here and either Fina or Jaden's hopefully going to one-shot her uh, because this cloud has bad AI. He's gone into the corner. That's just fine with us. 
Okay, so Sparkle Shower, not gonna get through the barrier, but Jaden, we can see the damage here. That was like 9k damage. That would have one-shot her for sure. So definitely Jaden's VC is helping him out a lot. It's light attack, missile attack. Uh, it, it's a lot of good things for him. A lot of decks that affects his ability to, to do damage as well. So um, definitely this composition is really, really strong uh, for missile attacks. Drill shot there, 6.4k on Charlotte. She's dead. Right, taking out a tank that has a lot of spirit actually. Um, I'm not sure about what, what her missile resist is innately, but but even so, like that's clearly uh, you know quite a big difference uh, in damage now that we switched over. And we'll get a little bit of an AP refresh there. Hopefully we don't get caught in the big barrage. No, okay, good. Here's the cross slash. We can take a few hits. And there's the 100 percent hit attack, and there's no reflex, thank goodness. Okay, let's do a little bit of theory crafting with this team. Now at the beginning of the fight, this is not what I had. I actually had this Scions card. It was on Jaden, so he was giving the light attack 35 to everybody, and there was some dark attack resistance up, and he got some more from the bestowed effect. But what I found in Guild Battle is that this is actually kind of nice on Mont to get that dark attack resistance up 10. And then Jaden, that frees him up uh, in order to use his own card. And even even though it's not maxed yet, uh, we can see here that 10 light attack up right now, uh, the acquired AP up is very useful, the missile attack up, and we're still getting that area attack resistance because I'll put, I'll put it up on screen right now so you can see our original composition for the first four fights. Jaden was at level 110 uh, and he was using the Scions card and we also had the Death Machine card on to Mont so that we had the AoE resistance, but at the end of the day Mont just needs to tie people up. He doesn't need to be uh, an impenetrable tank because Fina and Jaden can do some serious damage. Now, one other thing that I forgot to update uh, is that for all the fights that you saw today, I was using Siren on Fina, you know, and that's fine, some slash resist and whatever, but what I actually can use with her now, I got to 10 out of 10 resonance. This is what I've been using in Guild Battle, and this actually will increase her damage a little bit more because it has more magic, uh, and it actually has, uh, you know, more HP, some other stuff, um, and it also has the man killer, right? So that 25% man killer for PvP, uh, that's gonna make a really big difference over Siren and Fina's damage. So this is actually, what I would run this comp as uh, if I, you know, if I do more matches today. Now, if we go take a look at my guild battle comp, it's actually the same thing, except uh, on this particular instance, I'm running bells onto Jaden. I'm running, because you don't get to pick your opponents as much, uh, and he won't use that right away. You know, he might not use that till fight two. It depends on the, you know, because of his range and, and the map and everything. But because I'm fighting a lot of other Jaden teams, cloud teams, whatever it is, uh, I actually have this missile uh, resistance up on the defense bracer and we're trying to take as little damage in the mirror match as I can and Mont is just trying to beef up a little bit with his TMR it brings him into the middle and then he goes up through the middle, um, but that still allows Jaden to actually run over uh, to Fina to use that initial agility buff, and I think that this this worked really well. I got six stars today, and my team was at full health at the end of both fights, uh, just zero damage. We were looking really, really good. Shout out to my guildmate Suiko uh, for sharing this build with me. So before we get out of here, let's take a quick look at Jaden. It's really important that you get him to use his most preferred buffs. So what I'm talking about is one that unfortunately with sniper stance, you're turning it off. He doesn't actually use this over March of the Stag, but you do want him to use his TMR or whatever TMR you have over sniper stance. So I just have this off, um, although I, I bet, you know, maybe it's not as high a priority, I don't know, um, but it's off. March the Stag is on, you want him to use this uh, on your allies, get their agility up, and you need him to get that 60% magic boost. Otherwise, Otherwise I have everything else on. If he can use Drill Shot, that's amazing because this is a three turn buff, the Missile Resistance Penetration. Right now he's using Magiblast quite a bit uh, because of its Ranger-like range. Now I don't actually have the 120 skill. If I had that 120 skill, he'd be using that too and he'd be one-shotting people and if not dropping their CT, so that would be really good as well. 
And then unerring shot actually came in handy today because I was able to kill uh, a Venera with it that was uh, my Fina and my Mont were straight up not attacking her. They had 0% chance to hit. And then Jaden just came in and fired on her and everything was good. I'm using the Red Mage sub job and the reason is that jamming thrust gives you that different damage type. It also gives you that range two height, uh, which is can be really good for you know hitting people at weird ranges. Uh, and then otherwise I've turned off uh, Kira. I just don't even want him to, to bother using that. I'd just rather he would attack. And I don't I don't know I haven't actually tested if he would attack or if he would use Kira. I'm not leaving it to chance right now because I'm using him in guild battles after all. So otherwise Farsight and Ruler's Refinement, I think that's the way to go. Magic reflex for him, of course. And for TMRs, like because this is basically you can look at things like that new raid coat we're probably going to be using as well. Uh, Defense Bracer is going to be really good. Uh, and then things like uh, Mage's Habit or even like a Soul of the Master. Those are all good equipment pieces to go along with his Quasar gun. But for TMRs, I think you're going to want to use his own TMR. Something like, you know, the uh, the AP regen on this or maybe even something like Bells. Those would all be really good choices for him um, because you want him to be gaining AP, gaining attack power uh, or, you know, doing something something to, to basically make him your carry in your team. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. And honestly, I'm so happy with Jaden. He's absolutely crushing it. I'm also really happy with Fina. Uh, to be honest, like just this guild battle performance today, the six stars, zero damage, like he is honestly so strong he was hitting damage cap on his opponents and i know i know we've got the the light attack up for the map but even so the fact that he's doing that much damage it's a really good sign and he's at 115 i don't even have him at max yet so very very pleased with him i think if you want to slow build him from 115 you are good to go you can do that uh, so enjoy your Jaden. go pull for him if you haven't and you have some vizier lying around otherwise i'm gonna get out of here thank you so much for watching make sure that you like the video and subscribe to the channel because that's going to help me out. And then otherwise, I'm going to see you in the next one.